Okay, here we have Casey Colas of Orangeboro High School, one of the fastest um, young men in the in the history of the United States high school track and field. Uh, Mr. Combs, uh, congratulations for being inducted into the Hall of Fame. Uh, how do you feel? Uh, it's a great honor. It's uh, great to be here. I got to see a lot of people I haven't seen in a while, and uh, hopefully. Uh, some of these young kids get to see uh, guys like us that got in the Hall of Fame. Uh, hopefully they get the opportunity to inspire them to want to be a future Hall of Fame. Okay. Can you tell us a little bit about your track and field career? Uh, I'm won five state titles, uh, two national uh, two national championships, three national records, one junior college national record, uh, representing the USA on a 4 by one team in uh, 1999, the Junior World Championships. And, uh, uh, I just enjoy the track. It's been good to me, and uh, like I said, I hope a lot of what we did today inspires other kids to, uh, you know, want to do great things. Okay. Um, you had a, a very storied career, and you had legendary battles against uh, Tyson Gay. Right. Uh, tell us about some of those battles that you guys had. But it really wasn't no legendary battles. <laughs> I think you, you can go back and look at the results. <laughs> You know, proofs in the pudding. I'm proud of Tyson Gay. He's, he's represented his family and himself, and he's done real good. You know, obviously, uh, you know, that's all. I, that's all. The only thing good I got to say about Tyson Gay is that I'm glad he's uh, from Kentucky and that uh, he's done real well. But uh, there never was no rival. Okay. <laughs> um, you set uh, national records and everything, and. I think your rec does your record still stand? Still stands. All three of them still stand today. The the hundred and the hundred meters indoors it's not run every year like the sixty meters, but they still stand. Okay. All right. All right. And there's been a lot of articles and documentaries done about you. Um, can you tell us a bit about about that experience? Well, obviously, you know, me being a white sprinter and, and obviously being fast, it's, it's gained a lot of attention over the years. And I've, I've done a lot of great stories, documentaries, like you said, and we even got future movies coming out. So it's uh, it's been a great thing. It helps uh, helps me as far as what I've done. And like I always said to you in the beginning, I hope what my story is inspires somebody else to uh, maybe not make those same mistakes, but maybe uh, set their set their bar high. Now, uh, who were some of your influences? Uh, definitely my dad was one of my influences because he was a track star in the 70s. My coach from Owensboro was one of my uh, role models. But as far as athletes, I, I looked at guys like Ben Johnson, uh, Carl Lewis, Leroy Burrell, uh, Dennis Mitchell, uh, Trevor Graham, guys like that. And um, is there any, anyone you would like to thank right now for being here at this particular time? Well, I'd just like to thank God that I'm alive. I'd like to thank my parents. My wife, my kids, my coach, and anybody that's ever been behind me, I thank you so much. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time, and congratulations once again. Uh -huh. Thank you.